So um, now this is the part everyone loves because you know when we when we finish when you finish with us, Ronald, we find out that an apple is not just an apple, a pear is not just a pear, uh, an olive leaf is not just an olive leaf. You know, there's actually more going on there, and we love it. We really, really love it. Uh, so, what have you got for us today? Well, I've got. A, I've got. A, uh, first of all, uh, this is one of the. Excuse <coughs> me. This is one of the best um, vegetables that you can use uh, for your kitchen to, be, and, uh, to deliver an absolute delicious dish. Yeah. Delicious. Part. So, and it is the modest cauliflower. Ooh. Cauliflower. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Now, cauliflower, so you know the. The cauliflower in in the UK, <coughs> excuse me, the cauliflower in the UK is more known as a white cauliflower. It's white, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and and so, but you can also have. Would you believe it? You can also have the Romanesco, which is like a green, lime green coloured cauliflower. It's got like little lumps, like little hills, mm. and that's called Ro Romanesco. That is a cauliflower. Mm -hmm. You can also, in certain countries, you can have an orange cauliflower, orange. Yeah. And you can also have a purple cauliflower. Purple. Wow. Right? And so, so orange and purple are very high in beta carotene. Mm -hmm. right? So, but I, d I haven't seen many in of that in in the UK. Very few. I've seen some in, in I've seen some of that in the US. Oh wow. And also in Australia. Look at now, that. So I'm going to send the picture. Oh I'm going to send a picture through to yeah. Doctor Shad if he's still with us. Uh, let's have a yeah. look here. One second. One second. and second. All right. All right, so we're gonna have different colors going on here. There we go. Yep, four, right, four yeah. different colors. Four, there's four different mm. colors. Oh my gosh, I only, managed, I only managed to find three. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. What's that? It's white, it's white. Uh, Romanesco lime green. Um, and then, uh, <clears throat> and then um, the purple one and the orange one, orange. I'll just leave it there. Yeah, yeah. wow, okay. Yeah. I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. I had no idea yeah. about this. I had absolutely yeah. no inkling of mm. any thoughts or idea that this even existed. Yeah, yeah me neither. Like, there's another one, Dr. Chef. <laughs> wow. On the same chat? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So, so go, for moving forward, um, yeah. one of the, I'm going to give you a list of some amazing vitamins and minerals yeah that uh, cauliflower contains even a white cauliflower right yeah so one so one cup one cup of cauliflower has three grams of fiber yeah uh, it has vitamin c vitamin k mm -hmm. vitamin b6 good for pregnant women folate or again again good for pregnant women pentatonic acid that's b5 mm -hmm. pentatonic acid is extremely important for stress Anti stress, right? Okay. And that's pentagenic acid, okay? Potassium, that's good for, for leg, legs, cramps, and so on. Yes. To, to, to keep your legs, like, to le your legs and, and body flowing without cramps, right? Mm -hmm. And manganese, which is excellent for hay fever. Yeah. If you get a hay fever, eat more cauliflower, because manganese is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a micro mineral mm -hmm. that helps to build the actual bridge of your nose and so that you can fight the, the pollen that causes the hay fever. Brilliant. That's manganese. Right? So magnesium. Magnesium is very important. Every client, every patient we see is short of magnesium. Yeah. Because normally magnesium you <coughs> get only from nuts. Most most of the nuts, mm -hmm. uh, especially things like almonds and walnuts and all. So, and unfortunately, the quality of the nuts in the last forty years has dropped amazingly bad. You know. Mm. You know, we we we, 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 we we've cut all our almond trees down. We've cut our walnut trees down. We have to import a lot of nuts. And the, the moment you, you, get, you import something, it could be like two months, three months before before you, um, before before you actually get the to arise to, 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 the, to your country. Yeah. And in that period of time, it's getting the heat. Oxidation. Anti-oxidation. Yeah. Uh, exactly. You see that and so on and so on. So, so your best bet, of course, is that if you can if you can get a cauliflower that you grow from home mm. and also to get potassium you can grow your own almond tree we, we've, we've got a young almond tree she's two years old wow oh. now it should start to bear almonds in about five years takes about seven years mm -hmm. to, to grow especially in the cold weather but uh, 
that's a very important part of the mineral, like magnesium. Mm. And usually when you short of magnesium, you also feel the calcium. So later on, I'm going to give you a recipe, which you, which uh, which you'll find incredibly tasty. Mm. And, and I'll, I'll give it to you at the, at the end. But let's but just, move just, on. Just, you know what you said yeah. about magnesium? Because there was a time when I was doing the breakfast show, I was getting cramps. Yes. Like in yes, the evening, I'll just be in my bed. I'd be like, Gay! Gay! Oh, and, you look, and you roll out your bread mm. like you're in a in a war movie. You just roll out <laughs> oh, yeah. and you kind of stretch your legs out. And you have to kind of. And I was like, oh my goodness! And then oh, Ronald Petrie yeah. told me about magnesium. Get your magnesium levels up. As soon as I got the magnesium yeah. levels up, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, fantastic. Yeah. I can't and leg, leg, oh. leg, leg cramps can be really, really painful. <laughs> You know, you, 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 when you get a leg cramp, you've just got to, you've got to just fight the pain. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, like, seriously. Just about three minutes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Cynthia was going to say something. Go on. Yeah. Like, if you're ignorant in this respect of like, oh, this, I need to take this. I have this cramp. I need to take this. If you're ignorant in this respect, you're probably, I know, with people of faith, right? You're going to be like, oh, tight. Oh, that girl. Yeah. Anointed of oil. Yeah. Just, yeah, let me get my oil. Yeah. But more time, you <laughs> just need to be aware of what your body needs. Like, I'm not aware. So when things happen to me, I'm like, what's going on with me? I don't know. Yeah. But it's good. It's, I need to understand these things so I can help myself out. Absolutely. Mm, mm. So, um, so, so moving on. Um, so fiber, the fiber in cauliflower is particularly important. Okay. Because it feeds the, it feeds the healthy bacteria in your gut mm-hmm. that help reduce inflammation and promote digestive health, right? Mm-hmm. Um, now consuming enough fiber can also prevent digestive conditions like constipation, mm-hmm. diverticulitis, mm-hmm. and inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, right? Yeah. Now, these are very common these days. Constipation is about 90%, 95% of the I've got some form of constipation. Mm. So they'll consume three meals a day, mm-hmm. six meals by two days, and then they go to the toilet on the third day. Mm-mm. Right? So that's wow. constipation. Very, a lot of people love that. You'd be, it, but no, you should have at least one bowel movement per day. Per yeah. day, right? So people that uh, flush so the toilet once a day, you can see the problem. At least. Right? At least. And not just by sitting on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and you know. You've got uh, to evacuate. Yeah. We've got uh, Jeanette saying something interesting. She says calcium is a magnesium blocker, though, uh, and magnesium is more important. What are your thoughts on that, Ron? No, 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 not at all. It's it, you, you, you. What every test we did in kinesiology, uh, we found that people are short in calcium and magnesium. Now the ratio, the ratio has been tested by top scientists. The ratio is that calcium is one part. And magnesium is one part. In other words, when you eat food, you must have one part of calcium, one part of magnesium, and that that is a create the actual synergy to make both work together. Okay. Right? So you mean what? So usually people like are deficient of one or the other, and there's an imbalance. Yes. But you need to have it That's right. equally yeah. to kind of yes. balance it out. Equally. Okay. Equally. The, the recipe I'm going to give you shortly mm-hmm. is going to give you that balance of calcium and magnesium. Okay. Cool. Right? Yeah. They, 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 look, you cannot have calcium without magnesium. You cannot have magnesium without calcium, mm. right? That, that's the way it works. Because otherwise, if calcium was a blowout, uh, you know, you would you'd be short of magnesium, and then you'd be you have cramps. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they have to be synergistic. They're synergistic. Now, about ten years ago, scientists worked out that at that point in time, they had two parts of calcium and one part of magnesium. But now it's the, the, the latest science we find. The latest is one part of calcium, one part of magnesium. Okay. And that's how it works, right? All right. So, but I'll, again, I'll give, I'll give the recipe shortly. So, so you know what diverticulitis? That's a very common one. Diverticulitis, as the name implies, is the diversion of the colon. In other words, you have little bags that come out of the colon. They, 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 they come outside like a little little balloon mm-hmm. and so so diverticulitis is a diversion of the column some of it oh, and wow. it creates a little back and the problem with that is that it creates inflammation because you have meat the like red meat for example yeah. and other other inflammatory material that goes in and goes in the bag and it locks up mm-hmm. so so that becomes diverticulitis which is a diversion of the column and itis means it's an irritation of the column, mm-hmm. get it? Okay. So, so, so cauliflower helps with that. 
Okay. okay. Wow. So it's IBD, amazing. Which is very common. So yeah. It's amazing. And like, IBD. Sorry, go on. Because it's just, it's just so shocking to me because these are things yeah. that we buy in our grocery store. Yeah. But we just say, oh, let me just put some yeah. greens on my plate. Yeah. But they're, yes. all, they're all helping us on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, that's the thing we Absolutely. don't realize. Yeah. You know, and, Absolutely. you know, guys, if you're going through yeah. something, obviously, disclaimer, follow your doctor's instructions. But what we're learning, what we're learning here today is things that we have on our plate anyway. You know, um, mm. they, it, it, mm. they 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 actually like Cynthia said they actually help us. Oh my gosh! Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So so it's also a very good uh, what you call a prophylactic, which is a, which is anti disease. Uh, it's very fun to be very 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 powerful against our disease, yeah, cancer and diabetes and diabetes. Mm. So that's a that's a, and, and and I'm seeing the. The increase of diabetes is alarming. Hmm. Absolutely alarming. I mean, a huge percentage of the population has got some form of diabetes. So, so eating cauliflower on a regular basis will help your sugar level to be stabilized. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. right. So now, also, it's a very good source of antioxidants. Uh, and, and, and the two antioxidants are that, that, are, that are, it's, got, it's got glucosinolates mm. and isotyosinates. Two groups of antioxidants that have been shown to slow the growth of cancer cells. Wow. Right? Now, so, and it's been, it's been especially effective against colon, lung, breast, and prostate cancer. Yeah. So that's a big win. That's a big win, right? Big win. Wow, wow, wow. Because colon, colon lung, breast, and prostate cancer. Wow. Now, and this, and we're talking about we're talking about cauliflower here. This is just co yeah, <laughs> this is cauliflower. Something so simple. It's something so yeah. simple. Look, God is so great. I mean, yeah. come on, just cauliflower. Yeah. Hello, yeah. you're gonna have cauliflower yeah. on your plate. You know what I mean? Now yeah. you know what other things it does to you. Here's here's something interesting here. Uh, we have our breakfast show talkers. Uh, Goldie's saying, mm -hmm. "Oh, I need this." Uh, Annabelle saying, "Now every time I buy apples, I think about Mr. Ronald's tips. There was a time I yeah. bought different <laughs> types of apples, but honestly, I am still stuck with Granny Smith." Uh, and then we, Goldie from Leicester says, "I got my pen and paper ready." And Karen BB says, "Cynthia with a big heart." Okay, that, yeah. They, yeah, just stay in the spirit, okay? Uh, Karen, good to have you with us. Yeah, All right, right. so, so could, could so we go to the recipe now? Is it possible? Yes, yes, we yeah. can do that. Now, mm -hmm. so what happened is that, uh, so what you do, you get you get a, a good size white cauliflower. Uh, yep. If you can't get white, uh, get a Romanesco, which is a... Uh, the Romanesco is like cauliflower, cauliflower, except it's got little hills, little hills on it. Like little lumps, huh? Mm. But but this is go for the white cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Now, what you do is you you leave the cauliflower intact, intact, oh. right? Okay, so you That's don't break it up. Yeah, you don't break it up. You say you wash it, mm -hmm. and now you buy these little bags, but you wash it thoroughly in your sink, and then what you do, you put in a steamer, okay? Okay. You put in a steamer. So the way to do a steamer to do it properly, this is where a lot of people get going wrong. You don't you don't put it in the steamer and then cook it up. You boil, you boil the water in the bottom part of your steeper first, yeah. okay? So when it's actually boiling, you put your cauliflower at the top mm -hmm. and you cover it for about five or six minutes. Mm -hmm. You then soften the cauliflower, okay? We'll soften it up. And then, and then so that then you leave it like that, you turn, it, you turn the heat off, you leave it like that. Guess what you do next? You get, you get a blender, mm -hmm. and you put, you put a, a, you put a big <laughs> chunk of, 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 of but a big chunk of goat cheese, goat cheese. Mm -hmm. My preferred one is abergavenny. Well, that's, you get that from Sainsbury's, for example. Mm -hmm. So, so a, a quite a big lump of goat cheese. You put it in the blender. You put a tablespoon of pesto, which is a basil, basil and, and, and nut mixture. Yep. Pesto. And then you put one avocado. You, you smash that up, put that in there. Mm -hmm. So you've got, so, so far you've got, you've got the, the goat cheese. Um, you got a tablespoon of pesto, one avocado, mm -hmm. and then you get you. And then what you do, you get some basil, basil, mm -hmm. fresh basil, yeah. Right? And then you put about two or three little chilies, right? And yeah. and then and then you put some olive oil with it, okay? Yeah. So now you you that's that's more of a creamy type approach. You blend it all, so it's Ooh, like a cream, that. okay? And then you remove that, then you put the you put the uh, the, the, the you put the actual cauliflower steamed cauliflower in like a pyrex jar mm -hmm. like, a, like a bowl right yeah. and then you pour the cheese mixture you pour the cheese olive oil a chili mixture you pour that on top of the avocado Oof. okay and then you slice it up 
you make sure everybody gets a slice of the cream as well. Yes. Right? So to summarize, you've got the cauliflower themed, you've got ghost cheese, uh, chili, chili, uh, chili, chili sauce or, or chilies, um, olive oil, um, you've put uh, pesto, and uh, you can even put a bit, of, you could also even add a bit of ginger, grated ginger yeah. with it. And um, you must make sure you put a good two or three tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. Because the olive oil mixes with the, with, the, with the ghost cheese. And then when it's put on, the, it gives you an enormous amount of nutrition, right? Because olive oil is very, very powerful on cauliflower because it helps the cheese to break down. But it must be, it must be ghost cheese, yeah. not ordinary cheese. Right, mm. and so you and then you, the, the chili adds a bit of color, and the pesto adds a bit of color. Pesto is a mixture of basil, pine nuts, and and you know, and oil, right? And olive oil, right? Excellent. So now I tell you, that is a delicious dish because you've got about six or seven very high nutrient content, like olive oil, ghost cheese, chili. All, all of this, all the chili is very important because cauliflower can be bland on itself. When you put the chili with it, it just lifts it up. It lifts the taste up. Fantastic. So, Excellent. So if you want to know more about the recipe, we can we can we can get that organised. But but I'd look, I'd love to get the feedback from people who tried the recipe. Be Excellent. Be, be, you, you should by the way to finish off. You should do a dish like that about three times a week. Yep. Because then then you're getting you're getting all the benefits of fiber and magnesium, manganese, protein from the ghost cheese. Brilliant. And the oxen, some of you go get the idea. Fantastic. Oh, one more thing. You can have one teaspoon of sel de Guerin, which is a salt from France. Excellent. Sel de Guerin. All right. Okay? So on that note, because <laughs> I think we, everyone just saw yeah. someone's getting ready to start the next <laughs> program. <laughs> Ronald, thank you so much for that today. That's it, guys. Uh, for a recap on that, you can check up on um, uh, Robust Life TV. And also they're going to continue with the subject on how to use cauliflower at 1.30 on the Facebook page, Planet Wellness. Guys, yes. thank you, Ronald, for that. You've been absolutely awesome. You've been great. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Katrina, for being with us today as well for the book analysis. And I want to thank you You're guys. Welcome. Yes, we have to thank yeah. you guys for being with us today. It's been absolutely awesome. Guys, let's stay powerful. Let's stay robust. We've got the tools. We've got the tips. Let's go out there and win because life is good. And I want to wish you all a robust day. If you want to catch up with any of our other stuff, visit Robust Life TV and you can do a catch up and, and also get in touch with all our guests and all our, everyone that's been with us. Cynthia, you're great. Thank you. Chad, you are just awesome and wonderful. We love you. And also you, dear listeners, we'll catch up with you tomorrow as we go on Thursday and it's going to be another breakfast show. Until then, ciao for now.